Toxin is the figure of choice today. And yes, this is what he looks like pretty much straight out of the box. It's a pretty imposing figure. It's got a lot of detail to it. But he does need some help. So that's what this video is about. We're going to repaint this figure. There are no capes to work on this time. No lighting to do. But there's a lot of touch-ups to do on this figure. So this is a commission piece. It is not my particular property. But we will have to return it in a finished state. And the whole objective here is to make those veins pop, those mouths pop on the symbiotes. And of course, we want it to look like it's actually wet with saliva. Let's get started. So I'll make things easy for you, it's going to be a short video and I've already gone ahead and sprayed down the entire figure with Liquitex Matte Finish Varnish. That's going to help us paint those actual veins in the green. And because it's going to be green over red, it's going to take a few coats of paint. So we actually want to make sure the paint adheres to the surface, the best way to do this is to prep it with a clear varnish that's actually gonna grab the paint. We can't use a primer, because then it's gonna be an excessive amount of work and paint to do on this figure. But it certainly is a lot easier, as you can tell from the time lapse here, that the paint takes well to that matte finish varnish. And as you can tell on the red, the greens are not as prominent. So we will have to go back over that with some more green paint and then we're gonna have to tone it down to make it look realistic. Now, as you saw there, this paint here is a mix of some of the green paint from Golden, and it's also mixed in with the Vallejo Premium White paint. They mix very well together, and I just thinned them down simply because I want this fine liner brush to glide down the surface and not get caught and leave clumps of paint everywhere. Now it is a time lapse, so it did take me quite a while to do this, and that's just going to depend on your scale level. You don't have to paint the actual vein directly on top because the brush is going to slide off. So long as you are in the vicinity of painting that actual vein, you'll have the look you need. And if you do overpaint, you can always go back in that same color, like here in the black, and cover up any of those mistakes. Here's our finished product at the actual arm. Of course, you've got two of these, so it's gonna take you a while. And you've got the legs as well. Now, for the most part, I leave my figures in the matte finish, but there are times when the figure needs to look like it's actually wet or glossy. And in this case, I'm using UV resin to actually give it that wet look. And why a sponge? Because the sponge will give you a texture as you apply it. If you use a brush, it's gonna, well, it's gonna look like it's brushed on and you may have brush strokes. But by using an actual sponge and then going in layers, you'll have the textures you need as if it's actual skin pores that are secreting this slime or saliva. So you don't wanna have to cover every single square centimeter. If you just cover the majority of it, you'll have the essence of that wet look because you'll have portions of the body that are not truly wet. And the majority of it is going to be looking like this, which is gonna give you the full essence that every single millimeter of the surface is covered. Now you don't wanna cover the joints because you can actually make a thicker layer and it will be difficult to do the posing especially on the shoulders. Now, if you have this figure, you know that the arms and legs come off. It's pretty much a builder figure. So you can actually work much easier if you do pull it apart. In this case, just for video purposes, I've gone in and worked on it as one unit. Now the saliva drip on the tongue, that's UV resin, and that made it look awesome.
So as promised, this is a short video. It's only a repaint and sealing everything up with UV resin. And as you can tell, the wet look on the body, all of that is UV resin with a sponge, textured in and then relayered again, and then UV'd to harden the entire surface again. And how did I do it? Did I do it with a small torch or lamp? I kind of cheated on this one. I put it outside into our nice bake oven called the sun. And that's what cured it that much quicker. Now, I did the same process for the symbiote mouths and painted those and then covered those with UV resin to make those look like they're wet and salivating. And you have a few close-ups here of what it looks like. I did not apply the resin to the actual curved tentacles just because it may break as you pose them or manipulate them. So it's easier just to work on the symbiote mouths. Now I did do that to the actual tongue. And as you can tell, there's a drip of saliva there also caught with UV resin. And that just gave it that final touch. Thank you once again for stopping by and watching this short video on this repaint. I hope that you learned something today. I hope that you liked the video. Don't forget to comment. And of course, leave a like for me. That really helps out the channel. Once again, we'll see you here next time.